Have you ever gazed up at the moon and wondered about its origin and purpose? Our celestial companion, the moon, has intrigued humanity for eons, yet remains shrouded in mystery. Science, despite its leaps and bounds, still grapples with fundamental questions about this enigmatic orb. How is the moon formed? What's with its peculiar orbit? And why does it maintain such a precise distance from our planet? Then there is the puzzle of the moon's density, which is significantly lower than Earth's. And let's not forget its composition, a baffling blend of elements that continues to perplex researchers worldwide. These are not mere curiosities, but profound cosmic riddles yet to be fully unraveled. But what if there was a theory, a single audacious hypothesis that could answer all these scientific questions about the moon? Consider for a moment the theory that the moon is a hollow, artificial structure. This idea, as fantastical as it sounds, has been proposed by some to explain a host of mysteries surrounding our lunar companion. The hollow moon theory, as it's known, was born from observations made during the Apollo missions, specifically in relation to the moon's seismic activity. When the astronauts placed seismic equipment on the lunar surface and initiated a series of controlled explosions, the moon remarkably rang like a bell. Not only that, but these reverberations continued for hours, a phenomenon that would be impossible if the moon were a solid celestial body. This strange behavior led some to wonder, could the moon in fact be hollow? Now it's worth noting that this theory is controversial. It flies in the face of traditional beliefs about the moon's formation and origin. The widely accepted giant impact theory, for example, posits that the moon was formed out of debris left over from a collision between Earth and a Mars-sized body. The hollow moon theory, on the other hand, suggests that the moon is not a natural celestial body at all, but rather an artificial structure placed in Earth's orbit by unknown entities for unknown reasons. Adding to this enigma are the tales from the Zulu legend, which link the arrival of the moon with significant changes on Earth specifically the stabilization of our climate and the rise and fall of the tides. These tales, though ancient, align surprisingly well with scientific knowledge discovered in the past century, giving further credence to the hollow moon theory. And then, there are the photographs. Images captured by various lunar missions over the years show what appear to be artificial structures on the moon's surface. Towers, pyramids, even symmetrical structures that defy natural explanation. The origin and purpose of these structures remain a mystery, but their presence raises an intriguing question. Could these artificial structures be proof that the moon is a hollow spaceship constructed elsewhere and later appeared in Earth's orbit? If the moon is indeed a hollow spaceship, then who built it and why? Pondering this leads us down a rabbit hole of intriguing implications. Some propose that the moon with its unique anomalies and peculiar seismic activity, could be the handiwork of extraterrestrial beings. Imagine an ancient civilization possessing advanced technology and cosmic knowledge, constructing this celestial body for purposes beyond our comprehension. This hollow moon theory also raises tantalizing possibilities about the moon as a potential habitat. Scientists have discovered a large open lava tube in the Marius Hills region of the moon spacious enough to house a large city. Could this have served as a shelter for these hypothetical moon architects? Or perhaps, is it a future home for us, humans? The moon as a hollow spaceship not only challenges our understanding of its formation, but also our perception of life beyond Earth. The hollow moon theory, as controversial as it may be, offers compelling answers to many of the moon's mysteries. This theory, proposing that our moon is a hollow, artificial structure, not only tickles the imagination, but also addresses significant scientific questions. It provides a plausible explanation for the moon's unusual seismic activity recorded during the Apollo missions, which suggested the moon reverberated more than a solid celestial body should. It also accommodates the anomalies in the moon's composition, density, and orbit. Moreover, it opens up fascinating possibilities about the origins of the moon. Could it have been constructed by an advanced civilization? Could its arrival have stabilized Earth's climate and influenced the tides, as the Zulu legend suggests? And what about the intriguing photographs that appear to show artificial structures on the moon's surface? Whether you choose to believe it or not, the moon as a hollow spaceship theory certainly adds another layer of intrigue to our celestial companion.